Hey guys, Lucas35 here, and we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to download the Crack Pack today, plus additional mods. So, I hit it when tutorials are over 3 minutes long, we're going to start right now. First, you're going to open up Google Chrome, because <laughs> Internet Explorer sucks. So, after that, you're going to want to go search up atllauncher.com, click, and then downloads, and then you're going to see downloads for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I use Windows because I'm awesome, so I'm going to click on that download link. After that, you're going to want to make a new folder. I know people, I hate it when people tell me to make a new folder on my desktop, but you're going to want to trust me here. Call ATL Launcher since I already have a copy on my desktop. I'm going to have to make a copy of that, and then you're going to want to drag this exe right into the folder. After that, you're going to want to start the exe so that it can load all these files into the folder because they're kind of important, and the console is going to come up, and you're going to get a menu with the ATL launcher free, uh, yeah, for you, or, yeah, you're the one that's watching this tutorial, right? <laughs> I have no friends. I have no friends. Yes, I speak English, hable no. And then, after that, you're gonna wanna go under your account, and you're going to wanna put your information, and <laughs> not today, folks, you're not gonna get my info. After that, you're gonna wanna press add. Account added successfully, switch it to now. Yes, of course, hello. After that, you're gonna wanna go under packs, and since we're going to be playing the crack pack, you're going to want to make a new instance for that. Don't ask me what instance is, I just follow it. Currently, the newest version is 1.5.1.0. If you have a different new version because you're watching this in the future, click on that. But yeah, Minecraft 1.6.4, install. After that, uh, these are optional mods. For my uh, server that I'm playing with, or at least my friend's server, I'm going to be playing with Ars Magica, and I'm pretty sure Zan's minimap. So I'm just going to click on that and install. It's going to take a while, so I think I might just speed up the video right now. After that long, long, long time, we finally got it to be installed, and now we're going to check it if it works. So the way you're going to do that is that you're going to want to press play under the Instances tab. Enter password. Hey, you're not going to get my info again. After that, entering your password, which you're going to have to do every single time you want to play on the Crack Pack slash ADL Launcher, because, you know, I'm not going to judge you if you're going to play another mod pack. You suck. Anyways... Uh, it should be loading up right now. I would uh, recommend not touching anything while it loads up because it might just end up freezing and then you might just have to shut down the program and then redo it all over again. You don't want that. <laughs> After like 20 minutes, it finally loaded up and we can try to play, but I'm not gonna play because that's just a waste of time on this tutorial, am I right? <laughs> I have no friends. After that, we're gonna learn how to install other mods as long as they're compatible with the mods installed in the crack pack so you're gonna want to open up that copy or whatever you named the, the, the folder i'm not gonna judge you still you're gonna want to click instances and then the crack pack now i have these mods all linked in the description and let's say i have a shitty computer i want to put in the optifine mod you would usually think oh that's a jar mod no you put you, you literally shove everything inside inside of the mods folder there i have optifine installed i have the morph mod installed now i have enhanced portals 2 installed all three of those mods are, we're going to be using in our playthrough, so it should work. And if you don't think it's going to work, well, I'm going to show you right now. <sighs> Instances. Play. I also recommend just minimizing the console. I won't know. I don't really know if it's going to, like, you know, screw with something. Oh, see what happens when you click something? This is, the, this is what happens. It doesn't respond. I, ju I just like to leave it there. Well, there you see that it works, so it should work with all the mods installed. I'm not going to try because I'm not one of those tutorial makers. So, tell me in the comment section, which tutorial should I totally butcher next? Also, be sure to be subscribed when I post my first episode of Crack Pack, where it's going to be a doozy. My name is Leakers35. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you.